channel. My name is Michelle and you're watching Real Life with Michelle. Today, let's talk about marriages. How do you make your marriage work? How do you make it lasting forever so you get along great and you don't fight? And How do you just make a happy, peaceful marriage? Well, I've got the secret. <laughs> I have the secret to that. I've been married a couple few times and I figured that, you know, I first of all, I made bad choices in men. Very bad. Bad choices in men. This time I didn't. I did not make a bad choice. And I paid attention to that, learning from my past how many bad decisions I made. I finally made a good decision. So all my kids love him. My parents love him. And that's a plus. So it was like, oh, this is it. Finally, thank God, this is it. I've been through so much crap in my life from picking bad men that I'm happy. So, how do you make it a marriage last? So, we've been married a couple few years now and we are still happy. We are still very, very, very happy. Um, a secret to that one. We don't fight. Why don't we fight? Well, because we put each other first. No, no matter what the situation, I'm first in my husband's life and he's first in my life and that doesn't mean I take that selfishly I don't I'm not very so I'm not selfish about it but you have to take the word I out of marriage you have to have you how are you today do you need anything and put all their needs first you have to be understanding both of you the man and the woman that you have to put the other one first above your needs I know my husband does that and we have an extra circumstance here because I have fibromyalgia and I have um, neck fusions and I have a rod in my spine and today is it, today it just feels bad it feels like something's out in my neck and when my husband comes home from work he'll understand that if I have to go lay down in bed the rest of the day he's gonna understand that because he loves me he does it out of love he always puts my needs first if I'm having trouble walking he's there to help me if I'm having trouble doing anything he is there to help me and he does it willingly kindly because he loves me because he loves me so we have an extra circumstance there which he has to be really giving toward me because I'm sick. I, a lot of times I'm sick. On the other hand, I understand that. I understand that he is extremely giving toward me. So I try to be as giving as I can to him. You know, I'll let him make decisions with, we're remodeling the house now. And he is doing all the work himself and he's doing a fantastic job but I don't complain about it. I don't complain about something not getting done in my time. I let him do it all in his time. When he has time or when he feels like it because he works 10 hours a day. So you have to be very under I have to be very very understanding that you know he's working really hard. He's helping take care of me. So he needs to do things on his time so we don't fight we don't ever fight about that now my husband he likes to hunt so it's deer season now and it's actually the rut now so that means it's even more important for him to go hunting he will always say to me and this is a key he never just says I'm do doing this I'm going hunting I'm doing I'm going here he'll say do you mind if I go hunting and it's not that he's asking me permission he is being considerate of me and what my needs are so and I in turn know that so I don't complain I was like no go ahead I never complain unless there's something that big we have to do I'll tell him well we have a birthday party at six o'clock so I don't you know whatever we're going to do here let's work something out and he's always willing to work it out always willing to work it out so you have to give on both parts so if I have to drive there by myself and he meets me later that's fine that's fine I don't complain complaining in a marriage is a key to ruin ruin in a marriage it's just 
not good. Who wants to hear complaining all the time? I mean, my husband has so... <laughs> Here, example. At night, I get really hot. I get really hot at night. So, I usually sleep with a fan blowing in my window. Now, we have separate, separate bedrooms, okay? I can't sleep in the same bed with him because I'm considerate, not because I don't want to, because I'll keep him up all night because of my fibromyalgia and my back pain. I'll keep him up. He'll be up all night long because I'm up all night long. So I sleep in the other bedroom, which is at the, you know, I'm at this end of the house and he's at the other end of the house. Well, the thermostat's on my end of the house. So it's 30s at night now. It's dropping down to 30s. I have a fan in my window blowing in my window. So, my part of the house, it gets really cold. It gets, it gets, that's the way I like it. That's the way I can sleep. Well, the thermostat, run, the, the furnace will run. The, even if I set the thermostat to like 60. My husband got up the other morning and goes like, honey, yeah. The furnace ran all night long and I woke up in the middle of the night and it was 100 degrees in my room. Well, I'm like, oh, sorry. So now I know to shut my door. I, you know, we figured out that if I keep my door shut and, and, you know, it, it helps, it helps. So he never yelled at me about it. He didn't scream at me about it. He just said, yo, babe, you know, we had to work something out here because it's like the tropic, it, it's the tropics in his room and it's like living in Alaska in my room. So you got to work things out. These are just a few things that help my marriage work you know be considerate of each other put each other's needs first and what they want to do ask nicely word things correctly so you don't so it's not sounding like you're demanding and be kind to each other well if you like my video come back for more subscribe and i'll see you next time bye